this rescue reached out to me about this dog who was not doing well at the shelter. She was left chained to a bench at a park, and when I heard her story, I said I will be on the next flight out. You can let her go, yeah. Well, look at that. You're just all bark. You're just all bark. It's okay. She definitely, like, you can see she lacks confidence. Sure. She's scared. Still, I, first, I mean, who wouldn't be scared when they're dumped in a park? Yeah, she's been through a lot, obviously. Her tail was just between her legs, like just she was shut down. Down. Yeah, I saw her shaking. Yeah, it didn't. And then didn't I look brought like her home for a night, and after that, she she started to come out of her shell slowly. She's been chewing herself. Mm -hmm. Lots of little. Is it anxiety? Chews. No, anxiety. Yeah, look, can you see that? Oh yeah. So she's that, done so she's that limping around today herself. because of that. Yeah. yeah. And then the lick. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a man who left her at the yeah. tide of the yeah. park. Yeah, I'd say so. Hey. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do it. <laughs> uh -uh. Did I have a leash? I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to follow you quietly. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Let's go. Uh, there you go. So a lot of times you're dealing with a dog that was abused, who knows in how many ways, emotionally, physically, usually by a man. So she suffers from so much anxiety that she's chewed her foot so, so aggressively that she can't, she's not even able to put weight on it right now. But also to point out, she needed to be out of that environment. And that's a big thing is in that house, mm -hmm. you know, she felt like she needed to, she needed to be protective. Yep. That was her space. The first thing you want to do when you have a situation like that is get out of the environment, bring them to a different environment, a new environment. And of course, make them feel safe at the same time. Maybe you could see her body starting to get a little more relaxed. The tail's exactly. coming out. Exactly. Thank you for pointing that mm -hmm. out. You see, she's already starting to get more relaxed. She knows I'm not going to hurt her. Yep. Of course, it's, it's still going to take some time. I, I have a long drive ahead of me. I can assure you by the end of the drive, she'll be with me like glue. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. That? Good job. Can you see that? That's amazing. That was great. I would never expect a dog that just was biting at me and so afraid to, to look directly mm -hmm. into my eyes like that. This is a beautiful dog. What a special soul, this dog. Okay, we are about to hit the road. We just got to our rest area. We've been driving for about three hours now. She's doing so good. We're about four hours away from our hotel and 12 hours away from the Asher House Sanctuary. I can't imagine the anxiety she must feel to chew her paw up that much that she can't put weight on it. Treat. Treat. Yeah. I feel like she can Girl. Let's see what we're working on. Uh. There we go. Let me get this off yeah. We look like a little supermodel rain. Click, 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 click. Picture, picture, picture. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful rain. CBD does not work for every dog, but I'm so happy it works for this dog. She's doing so much better. She's not chewing on her paw as much. She slept like a baby. There was a little bit of an incident. I'll tell you what happened in the car. We gotta get going. But besides that, it was great. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, we're on our way to Oregon, and last night, Rain did amazing. Everything was like really chill with me and Rain, and I uh, I got up, it was a little bit late, and I got up to go shower and, and everything like that, and I'm coming out of the shower, and Rain is standing there, and um, she got really, really, uh, really intense with me. I don't know if she like forgot who I was or got scared because I left her alone for a second, 
just a towel on and rain is just super intense showing her teeth um it was really freaky and she was like snapping at me i literally like tried to get around i wanted to get to higher ground so i, I got on top of the bed you know and it, i'm just holding my towel there and i'm like rain it's me it's me and like it it it, it took it, it honestly took a couple of minutes i can't i can't imagine what the people in the hotel room next to mine were probably thinking <laughs> ultimately we're doing great just a couple of hiccups it's gonna be fine we're, it's gonna be fine right how's that cbd feeling pretty good pretty 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 good i love you we're good we're good i love you I think she just forgot who I was. Maybe she got scared, you know? Poor girl, you got scared. You just got a little frightened. We got a bed, some food, some toys, and some treats. You like your new bed, huh? You like your new bed? <laughs> All right, guys, we've got about seven hours left in our trip. And then we'll be back at the sanctuary where Rain here will meet the rest of the pack. All right, my love, we are back at the sanctuary. Home sweet home. All right, guys, home sweet home. We made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. All right. We're gonna start bringing out three to four dogs at a time. And she's gonna meet all of her brothers and sisters. Hopefully her forever brothers and sisters if she loves it here. All right, here comes Moo. Hey Moo. You can let out a few more. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Lou. Luke. Hey, buddy. Good to see you, bud. <laughs> Good to see you. My whole goal here, my whole goal is to make her feel heard, make her feel protected. She, she has my full support. Muffin. Loba. Hi, Loba. Hi. Hey, Muffin. Hi, Dave. Hey, Remy. Butters, Penny, Poppy, Molly. It's okay. Good boy, Tom Toms. <laughs> Peanut. Rain and I had a little show down in the hotel room, but I actually think it brought us closer together. I got to learn more about her and she definitely got to learn more about me. I have no doubt that the long drive from LA all the way back to Oregon helped us bond and bring our trust to a point where I could truly feel that she now knows that I'm her dad. It's beautiful. I can't tell you how much I love her. Not bad, huh?